I am Tech Sergeant Lawrence Ouellette and I am assigned to the 143rd Security Forces Squadron Training Section. We were out here training the uh, civil engineers. Their training started with Humvee rollover training. Then we walked that into uh, dismounted ops, mounted ops, active shooter. Um, we had a little bit of land nav in there uh, with some reactor contact. I think looking at working with uh, civil engineers uh, or any other section of the base, it, it broadens our horizon. We get to actually know more of what they do in their day-to-day -day operations and they get to know a little bit more of what we do. With myself, I was prior security forces for 15 years. I was also combat arms. Using that network, that teamwork that we have there, we are able to come together, bring the teams together, not only allow their instructors to teach, but to teach my airmen how to survive and use their combat skills. In the beginning, we started off with um, learning how a convoy works. So we all loaded up in Humvees, drove out to one of our bases. Once we got there, we went over scenarios, rolling over in a Humvee, how we get out, how we work together as a team. If a driver went down, how do we take control of the vehicle? Uh, if a gunner went down, how do we step into their space? I think the better part of training was more of the reacting to contact when they were doing dismounted training. Um, we made it as realistic as possible, uh, use, utilizing simunitions as well as uh, smoke, trying to make it as real as possible. Um, and that seemed to be the highlight of their training when we asked them what they liked uh, the most and what they want to see more of. My favorite thing we did is definitely the uh, Sims training. Uh, that was definitely a first for me. And I think everybody, it was a first for a lot of people. And that was as if you were in the real deal without anybody dying, you know? Um, and it definitely gave you perspective of what would really happen. I definitely learned a lot during this training. It's actually my first time doing any of this, but now I have sort of the base. I think they did really well. It was actually surprising and refreshing at the same time to see not only them learning, but them taking in what we said to heart and how we trained them, and they actually used it really well. Overall, we brought in 30 airmen. We were able to train 30 airmen started off crawling, we started walking, and today we were able to actually run through some of the, the exercises and scenarios. This is just another tool in the toolbox. Uh, it's a tool that they can actually go out and you know, use. We are fully capable of doing our own training. We don't necessarily have to go 10,000 miles away to train. We can do our training right here, right in this state.